So you've spent the best part of the past few weeks, months, possibly years, studying PHP. You can construct PHP web applications, so you're more or less a developer now. Now what we're going to focus on is turning you into a good PHP developer. We're going to teach you how to follow the best possible practices, and we're going to start with passwords. Now let's face it, our users aren't exactly smart. They don't, well at least the majority of them don't know that your password should be a lengthy mixed case string which consists of both alphanumerical and special characters. They don't know that you should be using a different password for each website you use. So we have to take precautionary measures to make sure that their accounts on their other websites aren't put in jeopardy if our database or our storage system gets compromised. So to do that we use password hashing. Now you've been studying PHP for a long time, now you've probably heard of password hashing. You've probably also heard of MD5. Now MD5 was secure once, but as technology evolves we shouldn't be using it anymore. Not because it's insecure in itself, basically it's fast which means that hackers can try billions of different combinations per second on a single GPU. And that's the problem with MD5. So what we do is we use something like phpass. Now we can download phpass from openwall.com slash phpass and we can click this. Now I've already got my project set up here. I have phpass installed as we can see here. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use this. The first thing that we want to do is obviously include the file. Like so. The next thing that we want to do is instantiate the, the class. So we'll call this hash and we'll say new password hash. And if we just go to our constructor, we can see it takes two parameters. The first is the iteration count log, which is an integer which we're going to pass in 8, which is also the recommended number. And then we have portable hashes, which we're going to say false. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set a password. So we're going to call this unhashed and we're going to set this to secret. Now we're going to hash the password. So we're going to say hash equals hash, hash password unhashed. So now if we just echo this out, and we go to our browser, refresh, we can see that we get this big long, I think it's about 60 characters hash. So that when our user signs up to the site, this hash is what we want to store in the database. So how do we know if a hash matches a unhashed password? We use the check password method. So if we say if hash check password, now I always forget this, the, the unhashed password goes first and the hash password goes second. So if hash check password is going to echo match. So let's try this out. Perfect. If we were to change this to something else, refresh, we're not going to get that because it doesn't match. So let's put this back to unhashed. And that's basically all that it requires. Now in PHP 5.5 and up, PHP actually includes this functionality themselves. So I'm going to demonstrate that now, but let's just comment this out. We're going to change this to password hash. We're going to enter our password and the second parameter is the type of hash we want to use. We're just going to say password default, which is a constant. Down here, we're going to say if password verify unhashed hashed echo match refresh as you can see we get a match